However, we started this with saying the transition consisted of your hips just kind of rolling through, which is still true. But if at any point during that process you let your arms get away or you let yourself stand up and get out of your lean, you kind of deflate the energy that you would have to cast the ski out. Yeah. So you get that same effect as pulling long. You start heading more down course. So our goal here is to quote unquote stay down while you move the ski through or while you move the hips through. So when you make that little bit of a move with your hips, if you give any of this up, you've lost it. So it's just a twist. Right. Not even a twist. It's just an advance of the hips, knees, feet. Right. Just to kind of shoot the ski through. Here's, here's the science of it really quickly, just so you get this. Your, your body's stacked up, and we use that word a lot, stacked behind the rope in perfect alignment in theory. When you shift a little with the lower body, you've upset that stack. So if you have anything stacked up and you push the base, it's going to kind of explode that way, right? Mm -hmm. That's what we want. We're going to be in this strong position. You slide the base ahead, all the pressure from the boat shoots the ski out there. Yeah. So you're not actually throwing the ski out on the other edge. You're advancing just a little and then letting the pressure from the boat shoot it out there even further. Does that make sense? Yeah, that does. Okay. Let's go try one more.